Well, I would probably be fired by this point if this was my job and I had a boss. One of you awesome viewers asked me to do a build that involved using a ninja for Bravely Second. That was two months ago. My apologies, good viewer. Now let's get straight to it. Alright, again, sorry about that. I'm really busy a lot of the time, and well, you see, I wanted to do a more original build than just tell the person, use Ninja and Valkyrie. It, it's a good combo, I'll give it that, but it's already well known across a lot of the community. So that's why I developed the Speed Demon. This build consists of a ninja, as requested, with time magic commands. Chosen abilities are frenetic fighting, turntables, barrage, crossfire, comeback kid, and dual wield as a passive from the ninja. Now equipment should be two weapons. Shields are just going to slow you down for this. Two daggers are probably the best for this, but if you want to use rods for the time magic, they can work into it a little bit as well. I myself would probably go with just daggers though. Gold hairpin can help lower the cost of magic spells. Ninja garb can increase your agility, and that's very helpful for this specific build. And lastly, Venture Badge increases your Brave attack rate by 10%, something you probably should have. Okay then, so this is one is actually pretty similar to the Hitman build I did a while back, as it's a lots of hits in a single turn type of character. It's also a double team master if you're a Pokemon fan. Frenetic Fighting kicks your maximum hit count up to 32. Comeback Kid increases your magic and physical attack with each attack you can evade. And Turntables gives you 1 BP for each evasion as well. Then Barrage increases damage depending on the total number of attacks you do. And Crossfire gives you a chance to attack again after your allies do. Oh, and Dual Wheel doesn't lower your attack for holding two weapons, so that's also very good. Now if you don't use either of these jobs, because let's face it, these two aren't usually taken, I'll go over the important things that they can do. Shipu Jimrai allows you to attack quickly at the start of the turn before anyone else gets to move. Uh, Shunshin raises your evasion to max for 6 turns. Utsuimi lets you evade a physical attack one time. And uh, Iki Kaisi, I'm, I can't speak this. Uh, raises your hit count to max for that turn. Now for the time magic, you can slowly heal yourself if you get nicked with uh, regen, and you can kick your speed or hit count up some more with quick and haste, and it's higher versions of spells. That's all this does, but it does work with the build. As you can probably assume by this point, and I've already previously mentioned, the point of the build is to get your hit count up extremely high and just whack the brains out of your opponents, and get these hits in before your opponent can even move with the high speed stat. And now that these stats are easily attainable, well, you can just easily do it. The other thing about this build is that it should allow you to not even be touched by opponent attacks. The way it works is that it has a very high evasion, so evading will reward you by giving you BP, it's going to raise your own stats even more, and it's just going to be really good all around if you keep dodging those attacks. That's why I mentioned regen, because if you get nicked a little bit, you can use regen on yourself and that will slowly heal the small amount of HP that you probably lost over time. That's basically all that does, but... Again, it's better to avoid the hit than to actually have to take it, unless you're a knight, which you're designed to take the hit. And that's basically all the build is, just avoiding lots of attacks very quickly, that's why people can mine the Valkyrie job with this, uh, and dealing really high hit count and very fast movement and attacks. Yeah, that's, that's it. I'm trying to make it sound more impressive than it probably really is. <laughs> That's all we've got for now. Um, I do have some more ideas on the way, but if you have anything specific you'd like to see done, or you have any questions or even variations of the build, leave me a comment down below or something. I really like reading your guys' stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.